Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to tie the simplest bow ever. We're using two inch wide sheer ribbon, decorative ribbon. You basically use the same technique um, with most any type of ribbon. First I start with a loop, one loop. If you want a smaller bow, you can start with a smaller loop. I'm going to make what I call a medium sized bow today. Make your loop. I scrunch it together, twist. I'm going to make one today that has all the same size loops. So I just fold it under. I kind of measure it off with my thumb. I scrunch it up together and I twist. One twist. <clears throat> and I just continue the process. On a basic everyday bow, I do five loops on each side with the additional one that I started with in the middle. You can add as many loops as you like. If you'd like a big old fluffy round bow, you can continue to add loops. But for the basic bow, I do five loops on each side with my one loop in the middle. I just continue to scrunch it up, twist it. I can tie this bow blindfolded. It's a very simple technique. But I find the key to tying your bow is the tightening of the wire or pipe cleaner that you may use to tie your bow off with the tighter that you can tie it without it breaking you have to be extra careful with the wire because if you keep tying it it will break twist you'll see i have the one loop i started with in the middle and i have five loops on each side i twist the last one and then I just, for the tail, it's however long you would like to make it, I just grab me up a little bit of a ribbon. I make one big loop. Sometimes I'll leave it with just the two tails hanging. Sometimes I'll leave it with three. Or you can add as many tails to it as you like. Had for you to demo how to tie a bow. And I just wanted you to take a look at the finished product after I pulled out all of the loops in opposite directions. It has a total of 11 loops. Um, quite a beautiful bow. And I hope you join me for my next videos on how to tie a corsage bow. Have a great new year.